hello welcome to my youtube channel so this is the first tech challenge that we are starting uh, the, the start date of this is 9th of april which is today and it will go on for the entire april month uh, i have kept this particular challenge a bit easy so that i can understand my audience at the same time uh, you guys can also get familiar with the process of it like how to uh, reach out to me how to submit the these challenges once you have done the task uh, what are the criteria that we'll be judging on so it's a bit about getting uh, started with the challenge series. That's it. Okay, so let's see. So this is the first challenge that you have to create a color palette generator. You can do this in Android, React, uh, Rails, uh, Tailwind CSS, anything that you want. Uh, you can choose your own other text stack also. It's completely fine. Okay. Uh, the criteria is pre pretty simple. I have divided this into two parts, which is must have, nice to have, Okay, and it's a really open-ended challenge. In must have, you have to randomly generate color palette. I'll explain you what it is. In each color palette, there should be five colors, and user should be uh, easily. It should be easily copyable, meaning any user can easily copy color codes. Okay, so these are the must-have criteria. I will show you the demo of this. What are nice to have? Uh, user can lock the colors. So, for example, if there are five colors. Uh, I want to lock one of these colors so that when I click again generate button then it should change only four of those colors and not all five. So that's how lock works. I can download the color palette and the great UI UX basically you should focus on UI UX in this because there is no backend. So UI UX should be powerful in this. Okay. Uh, I'll show you a demo. This is Cooler's website C -double -O -L -O -R -S .co. This is a really wonderful website. In this, how does it work? You just have to go through generate. It has already started, it has shown us five colors, right? So that's the color palette that we want, something like this. If I press space, it keeps on changing colors. Space, space, and it will keep on changing colors. So that's the second criteria that user should be able to change the color codes uh, on click of a button or press of a button key. And third is copying this. So if I click on this, I can easily copy this color copy to the clipboard. Okay, so these are the three must have criteria. Now let, let's go through the other three which are nice to have. First one is locking the color code. So for example, if I lock this color code, now if I press a space, this middle color code will not change. So that's what locking means. Second is downloading these. <coughs> so for that, uh, they have given this export option in a lot of these ways. You don't need to do all of these. You can simply download in any thing that you want. Image would be the easiest. Uh, for example, I have already downloaded one of these, which is this. This is the color palette that I have downloaded. So second, nice to have. It should be download downloadable. And third, UI UX should be easy. So this is a really nice UI. The UX is easy that on press of a space, I can change these colors so it's a easy task uh, overall it's a good task to work on because when you will start working on it it won't be that straightforward okay at the same time uh, when you are going in depth of ui ux it will require some efforts okay for example uh, if the color code is dark they have already changed the text color to white and if the color code is complementary to that they have changed the text color to black so these are the things that you can control. Uh, you can create monochromatic colors. You can use sign up, sign in, likes and save. All those things you can implement if you want to. But the basic task I have provided, I, I will keep it easy. Uh, along with that, in the description, you'll find a Notion link, which will open you, uh, take you to this page. In this, I have mentioned all the criteria, guidelines and everything. Uh, feel free to have a look at it. I have also men mentioned the references, tech stack, uh, timeline of this, the attack project should take like five to eight hours. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, submission guidelines, the code should be submitted on GitHub or GitLab, anything where it is open source. Uh, you can share the link of that project once you are comfortable. And uh, in that there should be a readme with all the possible details. And yeah, those are the main things. So I hope you participate, share it with your friends. Uh, it would be better if you share it with any friend of yours so that you guys can work on this together meaning not on a single project but you work on your own they work on on their own and whenever you guys get stuck you can help each other out 
so that's another criteria of moving forward and uh, yeah uh, do let me know this is the first challenge i'm keeping it a bit on the easy side but even if after that if you get stuck uh, or need help in getting started do let me know i'm there uh, so yeah that's it thank you bye bye